Hello everybody. Welcome to a probably not very long awaited episode of Gerbil Playtime, I suppose. I don't know. This is Christabel. Um, I don't know. I don't think she's been uh, properly introduced to YouTubes yet. I've had her for maybe four months now. I got her for a whole dollar at Petco because she had mites. We, oh, what a battle that was. Such a battle. But we win. And as a precaution, just around the cage, it's uh, this flea powder that they gave me. They said don't put it in the cage, just around the cage. That way, if she does still have any eggs, they stay in the cage and she can get her baths or sprays. Whichever the case may be. Anyway, they're not in the house anymore. So that's the best part about it. Yay. Like her own stereo system back there. Isn't that cool? It's just cardboard. But it's cool. Anyway, she's got her own little sand bath, which she has, she has proceeded to kick all the sand out of. She's got her own little multi-story house that she loves to run her claws against. <laughs> She's got multiple tubes for the chewins. She's got a brand new, fresh, clean... Well, it's a little urine stained. Hi. Wheel. If I sound tired, it's because it is 3.19 at in the morning. I have nothing better to do than to love my pets. Oh my goodness. Look at her. She's so cute. She is a beautiful little gerbil. I, I really adore her. And she's got her food up on a pedestal so she doesn't bury it. You know, if she wants to take the individual kernels out and bury them, that's great. And for treats, uh, I feed her this. It is a human treats, but they are unsalted, so they're fine. Like she does fine. She's got almonds, raisins, little carrot cake things, cashews. Also good for the rats, which are, oops, saw my poster, which are over here somewhere. I'm ready. Oh, there they are. They heard the treats. They're like, oh my gosh, do we get treats? I would be so happy if we get treats. So this can't be called gerbil playtime so much because there are rats in these in the house. Oh my gosh, we have rats. The rats in here. This is Larry. He's very sweet. And Hogan. Hogan is experiencing hair loss and I have no clue why. Larry is been recently very dominating over him. Yeah. Like that all. They have become much, much more affectionate towards me. They're still very, a little skittish, actually. I don't even know if you can hear my voice. I'm talking so quietly because uh, there are people asleep in my house. I don't want to wake them. Do you like the cage? I had it custom built. It's a little dark in here. Got all, it's got a removable bedpan in the bottom where all the litter is. It's got this neat little thing that I can pull out, wash. That's where I give them their treats. And it's got a little, I don't know if you can see that. It's so dark. Oh my goodness gracious. But there's a, there's an arc there. A little hanging toy. This, that's right. It's a doggy chew toy. And they have torn into it. It used to look like a chicken leg. It doesn't resemble much of a chicken leg. Now. Hi. Hi. What am I doing? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? And uh, this rope goes all the way down to the bottom of the cage. And they like to pull it up to the top. I don't know how they do that. It must be so much work. But they do. And they like to sleep on it for some silly reason. Hogan 
contemplating going into the tube. Oh, there he goes. They like to sleep in it. Sometimes I take it out, give them a what for. They're like, hey, what happened here? This, this is a uh, hay. It's Timothy hay. It's supposed to help them because recently Hogan's urine and poo has started to smell strange, not like rats. So I was told they have a slight case of diarrhea and to give them things with fiber. So I opted for these. They get rat food pellets, lots of them. They eat many, 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 many of these every day. They are much, much more hardy than the gerbils. Why are you hiding back there? Well, anyway, give them their privacy. They're still not completely fond of me, but they're okay. I love this cage. It is very cool. There's the water, right there. See, I water my jewels. And my rats. They, they have everything they need. Ooh, Skyrim! Yo Yo Hakusho, oh my goodness. Um, now, she was living in this. But I noticed she started losing weight. Even though she had a wheel, all she did was poop and pee in it. She never ran. She actually had two wheels. Both are full of poop and pee. So they require cleaning. And this little sand cage she would sleep in. I don't know if that was good for her, but her nose started to turn black. So let's change back to the aquarium cage. And, uh, see her nose? Yep, her nose looks much, much better. Much, much better. After only a week in an aquarium cage. So, folks, for your gerbils and ham hands, these gerbilariums are very cool, but I do believe the aquarium cages are better for them from my experience. Now, I also have this beautiful little tree for all my little gerbils. I have two pictures left to fill. One of them Christabel will go into. It has uh, their names on the back when I got them. And yes, before I started recording I was watching a walkthrough for XCOM. Oh my goodness! I am poor. And I couldn't afford it, so I'm watching a recording of somebody else playing it. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it. It looks like fun. It looks like a very fun strategic game. Anyway, Christabel is an amazing little gerbil. She's a bundle of energy, a lot like my bunny, before I tragically lost her a few months ago. And gerbil baby bunny went soon after. They were not cage mates. Gerbil baby bunny lived alone. Bunny lived alone. They both lived around two to three years. And from what I've read, it's a decent lifespan, I think. It's not like they weren't fed, they just suddenly stopped eating, and it's not like there was anything poisonous in their cage, because there wasn't. Uh, yeah, this is a reused cage. I know what killed Betty, Betsy. See that? She would eat the lining on top of the cage. And it killed her. So, people with aquarium cages make sure all the toys are lined up so that the gerbils cannot get to the top because they will eat that and it will kill them and they will die and you will be sad and they will be gone and you will be missing a gerbil and it will be very tragic so don't do that well from that she loves all the space to run and i love having more space to put bigger toys in <laughs> So, thanks for watching, and, um, see if I can find her one more time. Hello, there you are. Say goodbye. She says get out. <laughs> Good night, everybody.